Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we'll be discussing Severus Snape, his ability to fly, and the question, was he an Animagus? In the Deathly Hallows, we see Snape flying around quite a bit. One notable instance of this is when he jumps from the tower of the Hogwarts castle. The following passage depicts Snape flying in front of McGonagall, Harry, and some of the students. He jumped, said Professor McGonagall. You mean he's dead? Harry sprinted to the window. No, he's not dead, said McGonagall. He seems to have learned a few tricks from his master. One issue that I have with this passage is that McGonagall suggests that Snape learned flight from Voldemort. There is no evidence to support this, and she really didn't know the ins and outs of Snape's relationship with Voldemort. It was a bold assumption for her to make. If he learned it from Voldemort, then why didn't all of the other Death Eaters use it as well? Surely if he taught it to Snape, he would have taught it to Bellatrix and Lucius. I just don't believe that he learned it from Voldemort. Before I get into this further, one thing worth mentioning right away is that in the films, the Death Eaters can fly, but in the books, they were never able to. It was an ability that was only achieved by Snape and Voldemort. J.K. Rowling is reported to have stated that all wizards have the power of flight innately, but that the vast, vast majority need a broom to achieve it. In Voldemort's case, he was so focused and powerful that he was able to channel the power to fly unsupported, harnessing the energy through himself rather than the broom. Perhaps Snape did the same, but I really think that he achieved it another way. One thing that we know for sure is that the Death Eaters knew that Snape could fly. The following passage from Bellatrix in the Half-Blood Prince confirms this. But you didn't return when he came back. You didn't fly back to him at once when you felt the dark mark burn. The fact that they knew he could fly only reinforces my instinct that he learned it in a way that was different from Voldemort. Surely if it was a skill that was taught to him by Voldemort, the other Death Eaters would have felt immensely jealous. Going back to the first passage where Snape jumps from the Hogwarts Tower, there's one line that really piqued my interest. I think that it could shed some light on his method of flying. Harry saw a huge, bat-like shape flying through the darkness. As far as the books are concerned, when Voldemort uses unsupported flight, he maintains his original form. So what's this bat-like shape? Why would Snape resemble a bat? My theory for Snape appearing bat-like is that he is actually an Animagus, assuming the form of a bat when he wants to take flight. First of all, Snape certainly would have the motivation. Stemming all the way back to his childhood, Snape was always locked into an immense rivalry with the Marauders. One thing that the Marauders had in common was that they could transform. James Potter, Sirius, and Pettigrew were all animagi. James could transform into a stag, Sirius a dog, and Pettigrew a rat. Even Lupin could transform, the result of him suffering from lycanthropy. So if his biggest rivals could transform, then why wouldn't one of the most determined learners and talented wizards try to achieve it? Snape was incredibly tenacious, patient, and strong-willed. I can picture him now, spending hours and hours trying to perfect this ability in an effort to best his hated rivals. He was the Half-Blood Prince, after all. His office also fit the bill as the perfect environment for a bat, gloomy, dimly lit, and located in the school dungeon. If you aren't sold on that theory, then another explanation for the bat-like shape could be that he used transfiguration to turn his arms into wings. Snape was a gifted wizard, and he was once a student of Horace Slughorn who was known to be talented at transfiguration. This would not have been out of the question for him to achieve. It may also better explain why Harry saw a huge bat-like shape, and not just a bat-like shape. What do you guys think? Was Snape an unregistered Animagus, a talented practitioner of transfiguration, or an expert at unsupported flight? Let me know down in the comments section below. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry! <laughs>